you for joining me in this how to use Adobe Digital Editions with Overdrive tutorial. So let's get started. To download Adobe Digital Editions, click Help, then click Applications. After that, select Adobe Digital Editions for eBooks. A new window or tab will open to the Adobe Digital a new window or tab will open to the Adobe Digital Editions website. Click Download Now on the right side and click the appropriate link. If you do not have an Adobe ID, click Sign In in the top right and click Get an Adobe ID. Once you fill out all the information, Once you have created an Adobe ID and the Adobe Digital Editions has installed, return to Overdrive. Return to the Overdrive website by clicking the X right here. Click on the EODLS logo to return to the Overdrive homepage. Once you have checked out your selected ebook, click on Download and select Adobe EPUB ebook. Then click Confirm and Download. A new window will open. Make sure the Open Width is selected and Adobe Digital Editions is in the box. Then click OK. The first time you use Adobe Digital Editions, you will be asked to sign in with your Adobe ID. Type in your Adobe ID and password, then click Authorize. Once your ebook has finished downloading, double click on the cover. This will open the book. Click here to return to the Adobe uh, click here to return to the Adobe Digital Editions Library. Click here to create a bookmark. Here to show or hide this navigation bar. Click here to enlarge the font size here to search for a word or phrase and click here to read in full screen mode. Click here to view this table of contents and click here to view your bookmarks. Once you have completely finished reading the book, click library in the top left. Next, right click on the book cover and click return borrowed item. Then click return. Keep in mind that ebooks will automatically return once their checkout time. Keep in mind that ebooks will automatically return once their checkout time has expired. Then click the X in the top right. Make sure to sign out of the library collections page as well. That concludes this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and be sure to check out our other technology tutorials.